There are three main groups of microorganisms. These are bacteria, viruses and fungi. The ones that we need to know about for now are bacteria and their particular fungus called yeast. They are both unicellular. Microorganisms can be used by humans to produce foods and other useful substances. They are suitable for this role because they grow rapidly, have simple nutrient requirements, they have a range of food sources and they can produce a wide range of products. Yeast is useful in many industrial processes because when it feeds on sugar it makes alcohol and carbon dioxide. Yeast is used in beer and wine making because when it feeds on sugar it makes alcohol. This is known as fermentation, respiration without oxygen. Carbon dioxide gives the fizz. In bread making, yeast produces carbon dioxide, which is used to make the dough rise. When the bread is fully baked, the spaces created by the yeast keep the bread light and fluffy. Baking also gets rid of the alcohol, which evaporates off. By adding bacteria to milk, we can make yoghurt. The bacteria feed on the lactose sugar in the milk to make lactic acid. This lactic acid thickens the milk and makes it sour to give yoghurt its characteristic taste and texture. When making cheese, bacteria are again added to milk along with the enzyme rennet. The enzyme acts with bacteria to clot the milk and make curds and whey. The whey is the liquid part which is just drained off and the curds are the solid bits which are then used to make cheese. Created using Powtoon.